Just a beautiful day here in Alabama today. Uh, Mid-November, a little bit of color. Not as vibrant as Michigan maybe, but it's pretty close. Headed to Scott's today. He sold his uh, Entech and bought a Lance, 15-foot Lance. Uh, we'll we'll uh, ask him why when we get up there in a few minutes and tour his new RV. He's really excited about it, so uh, see you in a few minutes. So hang on. We're here at Scott's checking out his new RV. What happened? Well, sold the Entech um, to a gentleman online. Uh, he came and picked it up and went to Colorado and got this camper, so we needed more space. We're planning on staying out longer and doing road trips where we're going to be pulling off at Walmarts and things like that. And we want to be able to use the bathroom and uh, not have to have a quicker setup. Getting older, I guess. Yeah. But, but so we got, so went to Colorado, found a deal on this. It's 2021, picked it up and brought it back. Well, that, was a, that was a quick decision. Yep. Yeah, it fun. looks nice. What, what, and this is the this is what the this is the, the Lance uh, 1475. And so you know we went on that trip on the Bourbon Trail, and we saw a gentleman there that had it and let us walk through um, his camper. And Yelena and I both liked it, and uh, we were able to get a 2021 for the price increase on the 22s. So we drove out to Colorado. That's why we went to get this one. They still had a new one left. So. Yeah, they're pretty hard to find anymore, aren't they? I think the 2021s, unless you buy used, of course. Yeah. But, yeah. So this is a 2021, but it was new on the lot. Right. You want to take us around and show yeah. it to us? Yeah. So this is, uh, of course, he's got the cover, uh, the propane up front, just 20 pound propane. Uh, you can get an upgraded electric jack, but the guy that pre ordered this one did not for the electric jack on the front. Uh, the battery from the dealer comes right here. Of course, you'll just get your RV battery. But I took that out and upgraded to uh, uh, lithium on this camper. You're already, you're already doing upgrades. Too, yep. Right? So uh, all I did was fish the wires back through, and uh, I can show you the store in the storage compartment. I installed it in there to kind of keep it warm. And this aerodynamic cover here. Right. And that's got to go back on. So I can show you that. That just slips on. Everything's a little dirty still. You just got got back off the road from Colorado, right? Yep. The whole me or the yeah, camp? No, the, well, both of you. Oh yeah, yeah. And these snap on. I guess aerodynamics or looks. I don't know if it helps cast mileage, but. Well, that's a compartment for your uh, sewer hose. Yep. So it fits in there. And uh, this is uh, inside. This is underneath the queen size bed. It's got a magnet, pulls it up. That's just all storage. So I already kind of got some stuff in there. Let's see if I can get in there. This goes all the way through. That's, that's nice. Pass through, and then that's where I put the new battery. Just wired it. Wired it. Pull. Cut the hole. Wired it through. All right. Put the ground and put the case in there, and got it strapped down to the floor. But yeah, that's completely pulled through, and there's a little hatch right there on the that you can access from the inside of the camper, whatever you can reach. And you put the lith lithium battery in there. Yep, the Battleborn 100 amp hour lithium, and so cool. yeah, so saves on weight. This is a uh, water tanks, 26 gallons. This is the fill and the vent for the water tank. Um, Wheels comes with the Goodyear Endurance, pretty good tires. Uh, fresh water. I'm getting ready. I bought this to winterize for you know to blow out the water lines. I was just putting it in there, but fresh water. And then this is to clean out your black um, your black tank to rinse it out. 30 amp, 120 volt power. Cable set, uh, cable and uh, satellite connections, coax. Outdoor shower and the sink in the bathroom on the other side. There's shutoff valves, so if you want to use it, this is a four-season package, so it'll you can sh shut that off and be running the water, and you don't have to worry about this freezing. Freezing, mm -hmm. okay. Unless you want to take a shower in the middle of the winter, but most people don't. Uh, I like the bumpers. 
LED lights. These, this is the vent for the five cubic foot fridge inside. I got a Colorado temporary registration right now. That's gonna say that's gonna change. Uh, take you around this side. That's where it shows its four seasons. If you were to look underneath, everything's sealed off. And then it has a uh, a Truma combi unit that's uh, it runs on propane. It it also it does the it heats the water. It's a tankless water heater. I guess it does have a little bit of a tank, but it's like continuous hot water. And it also heats the camper all in one unit through propane. And it, it's the um, the plus edition, I believe. So it has electric uh, elements in there, so you can use electric as well. Um, you have the options of switching around. Uh, this is there's a, a Bluetooth speaker inside that mounts and has a, a charge port that can be attached outside. Uh, the steps you can upgrade these to different steps if you want. The guy that ordered this one just opted not to have those. He, you can also get keyless entry if you want, but he opted not to get that. Exterior light, you can switch that from inside to, to amber or um, white light. So somebody purchased this, right. ordered it, yeah. got it delivered, and then... then Supposedly backed out. And then right. backed out of it. Right. I, I, apparently, from what I was told, and whether or not it's true, uh, Lance's are only pre-order only because the, the, they're so backed up right now. The only way you get one is to order it and have it for... I think they're taking about six months to get them. Kind of like Airstream. Every everyone that's coming off the line's already purchased. Them. Right. And so this one was uh, supposedly ordered by a gentleman who backed out of his deposit. So uh, this one has upgraded slide, and you see inside it has the couch. If you don't get the slide, it's the two captain's chairs inside. And th this will and the couch will also go uh, fold out into a little small bed. It comes. It doesn't come with the TV, but it comes with the mount, and so you can mount a TV to watch the football game outside. And it comes with this bracket, but you got to purchase the TV. And then, cool. Underneath it is your cable and your uh, satellite, and your antenna, your 12 volt, 120 volt power. Oh, your so hookups, okay. Everything to run the TV right there. And a 12 volt outlet, okay. That's the path, path through storage that On we the talked other side. about. Um, acrylic windows, and so they, uh, they're they double pane. They're European style, they fold up 90 degrees, and then they have little locks on the inside. Uh, on the on the hinges, so they can you can put it at any angle you want, but they are fully 90 degree fold out windows. Uh, I, I don't know if I said double pane, but when no. and you got to be careful not to use r the right chemicals on this. You know, yeah, you don't want anything like ammonia or something and microfiber, so you know because they're they, you can scratch, scratch these easier. Really. That's the only downside to those. And the awning, it's all, it's a power awning. Yep. The, that's hey, you know, it's got a lot of features for an uh, RV this size. That's I like it. I mean, for my wife and I, that's all we need. We don't have kids; it's just her and I. And, but yeah, it's a one one touch. You press the button, and you you, you it's just a one hit button, and it re, it retracts. Those arms kind of um, they're kind of V'd like this, and then they fold right. out. Uh, it has an LED strip on the on the, the actual roll bar on this side, so all the way down, and it lights up the patio area. Uh, it also has a wind sensor. I don't know how well that works. I don't know if I'll trust it, but. Uh, if it feels that there's too much wind, uh, the awning as a smart feature will automatically retract itself in. But right. if it works, that's great. Yeah, I hope not to have to trust that. Uh, if it wasn't so windy right now, we put that out. But I'm sure everybody <laughs> understands what the awning looks like. Uh, I guess we'll go inside. I mean, I don't think there's anything else we're missing out here, really. Okay. Check this out, we're still taking our shoes off. <laughs> so on the back side here, got the three windows. Um, the windows, they have the shades that go up and down. And it also has the screen, so if you do opt to fold your windows out, like I was talking about earlier, you can uh, have the screens in. 
But here's the little knobs I was mentioning, and then of course these windows just undo your latches. And okay. They can go all the way out. And they also have for venting, which I thought was pretty cool. You can go just in this notch. If you see that. Oh, and just little just draft a little air okay. in there, so it don't get. I don't know how well it keeps the weather out. I guess we'll see. But uh, yeah. Put the shade back up. It's got the little uh, lights here. The blue for at night if you just want to be able a little to see. night light type yeah. thing. And then of course it, you hold it, it dims. Cool. Yeah, I thought that was neat. Uh, little storage up top with a net. I guess you put clothes and blankets. As you can tell, we're still trying to figure out what to put up there. The mattress is, uh, we upgraded it. Bought it for the Intech, it was a queen size, and we kept it, and uh, we put it on here. But the mattress that did come with the camper was a spring mattress, and it was pretty comfortable, believe it or not, for uh, you know a mattress that comes with the camper, so we still have it. Um, we just chose to go with the one we bought aftermarket. But yeah. uh, nothing fancy, TV. TV. Uh, it you know comes with the unit. It articulates, so if you're in bed, you can watch TV, or if you're on the couch right here, you can uh, watch and you know turn the TV any which way you want. It comes with these tables; they're removable. Um, I forgot what they Laguna are tables or something, but you know you can use them any which way you want, or turn them. I'm sorry, any which way you want. And that's that's nice, you know, with this this amount of space, you don't you know the, yeah. take it up with a dinette or something. That's right. Yeah, because you don't, you know, we we lost a dinette in here to, you know, obviously to have it smaller, but for us this is fine. Um, a lot of people just even use TV trays rather than taking these apart and stuff. So we're still in the experimental phase on that. Uh, the couch, I don't think you can do it with the table on there, but it just lifts up and lays out into a bed. Uh, these also recline. You get you got the little. Oh yeah, and they're pretty. Not, I like the fact that they lock, so you, you won't push them down. The way to get them to go back in is you got to kind of pull and then push. Uh, nice big window over the top right here. You still got the got the screen, same functions. Uh, this is the slide out, of course. You get about an extra foot. His and her storage up here. All, his and hers? Or hers, hers and hers. And hers. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah, who am I kidding? Elena put a picture of our our old Intech so we oh, have a cool. memory, huh? Yeah. You know, so we can remember our our first And love. didn't you sell it to a guy out west? Yeah, yeah. Arizona yeah, he, or something? Yeah, he came from Arizona to get it. Mm -hmm. huh. So he'll make good use of it. He's yeah. a nice guy. Um, kitchen real quick this is the uh to put your clothes and stuff there's a, a hanger pole up there so you got plenty of space in here to put clothes or whatever you want to put really um this is underneath the sink it comes with these pull out trays and that that is also where your water pump is and your uh and yeah, it's got, down below there yeah, yeah it's got the three-way valve for your hose that you would stick in your RV antifreeze. Oh, pump it through. To yeah. pump it through uh, to winterize. The pull kind of residential sink pull down. It's got the sprayer. This is the board to give you more space if you're not using the sink. Cutting board too. Yeah, I don't know if I cut. It's like yeah, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. But uh, again, sink shades. Uh, this is pretty cool. I like it. This it's got. The light strip that comes on by the sensor with the door opening. Hockey puck lights. It's kind of like uh, they kind of do a lot of arching and stuff. I kind of like rather than just being all super squared off. But here's your lights for your uh, your sink light, and then you got the hockey puck soffit lights they call it. And you can hit that. A direct vent fan. Um, it's got your light and your fan. With the stove top. Three burner stove top. Three burner stove top with the glass folding top. Uh, I believe this was an upgrade. The oven, if you don't get it, uh, it's it's going to be cabinet space. And then also the microwave is an upgrade too. And what I like about the microwave, it doesn't have the turn style table in there. It rattles around. And, so. mm. and we missed the stereo and uh, the furnace feature there. Yeah. So here we got uh, antenna that articulates up on the roof. 
Uh, we got a surround sound system. The speakers are back above the couch. What was it? Oh, the Bluetooth. I was going to say the Bluetooth speaker, that just, that doesn't go to that stereo. No, this okay. is a Bluetooth speaker. It's got a charging port and it hangs over there. And that's okay. the one I mentioned that you can, you can put, put outside. outside. Right. It's got a little flashlight on it. So cool. if you're looking for lost keys or something, which you shouldn't lose because we got a key rack. Well, I'll show you that in a second. But the, um, this is all your radio. This is your CD player. This is your Bluetooth player. Um, all your all the gadgets on that and it hooks to your TV. I was just gonna say okay And then and then it has the surround sound speakers over the couch The two speakers so all of it <laughs> should play through um, This is for the upgraded Dometic I think it's 10,000 BTU air conditioning. This is the low profile one So you don't have the knobs here the controls uh, right here do you ever figure out if it has the uh, start on it? The it says on the manual that you can run it run it with a 2200 watt generator, so it probably has some type of soft start or okay. something. Okay. I have not tried that yet, okay. so I'm hoping it works. This is the controls for the Truma combi unit that heats the water and is also the furnace all in one, so you do all your controls there. Cool. Um, Let me flip her on here. Yep. Yeah, we'll but I, 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 for a 15 foot trailer, this is well. The, this is now it's 20 foot overall length. Oh, so well, the to, 15 foot is just measuring the floor space, not the bed. So it's actually longer than 15. Oh, foot. okay. All right. So, so 20, 20 from the ball to the bumper. Right. I think it's like probably about a 19 or 18 foot overall oh, camper oh, okay. trailer but you're but right. for some I reason, thought for 15 feet this is you think Lance would say longer right. stop you know? with the 1475 right. yeah, yeah. say 1950 or something yeah. but so um, so I guess cool. yeah so that the slides out bathroom uh, we turn can, a light on in there yeah. if you, there's your lights you got the ceiling light and then you got a vanity light over top of the medicine cabinet we can start there there's your medicine cabinet. She's already got stuff in there. Um, sink, cool. real deep. I like that. Uh, underneath, you got your bathroom storage. Your toilet paper roll holder is in there as well. Um, towel rack. All, all, all their hardware is, you know, nice quality. It's not plastic. Um, I guess coat or a robe rack of some sort. Another towel holder. It's another vent fan. This is the vent. If you get the four season package, which is the four season package seals everything underneath and then uh, underneath the trailer, the tanks and everything else. And then the way it is explained to me is the four season package. If you're in your camper and you have your furnace running, it's going to keep your tank. It's going to keep your water lines, everything warm. Okay. okay. It's all run through and channels underneath. Now, Same channels that the the heaters blow into. Right. The only thing I would worry about is that outside shower. But if you in in this cabinet underneath the sink, there's the two valves where you can drain Shut that it off. and uh, and probably put some insulation of some sort in there. Uh, but you got your but with that four season package, they send you these vinyl covers, which is supposed to help your uh, R value, I'd imagine. But I like it because it's going to keep the light out from coming over the door when I'm trying to sleep. But this is the vent for, uh, obviously, for vent when you're, you use, get moisture out when you're showering or using the bathroom. And then, of course, for myself, they got the dome skylight, so if you're a little Gives bit taller. Gives you a few more inches. Yeah, and, uh, so I need about an inch and a half of that. Um, knobs hot and cold. Shower curtain. Has tracks it runs on. I mean, shower, you know. Six foot three, and you can see I can kind of get in here, and it's a little tight, but yeah. it's doable. Um, if you, if you're somewhere that doesn't have a shower house or something, yeah. Right. Uh, toilet. I'll probably upgrade to the porcelain Dometic. They got an elongated one, a little bit more space, uh, fitting everything in there. But the uh, pretty self-explanatory, decent size. Uh, I think that's about it for the bathroom. The uh, I like the doors. Everything's really good construction. These walls here are real firm or uh, solid. Nothing flimsy. Uh, the, the mirror, I like that. It makes the camper feel bigger. 
and that's actually in, enclosed inside of the door. It's not hanging on there, which I originally thought. Um, five cubic foot refrigerator runs off of propane, electric, or um, 12 volt. The 12 volt switch is here to use that if you like. But there's a freezer up top. It's got some latches down here if you're traveling. The key rack comes with the clock. Here's your slide in and slide out um, for your slide. I believe that's your temperature sensor for your furnace. So that's where it's getting its, you know, temp. When to turn on and off. Yep. Uh, this is more storage more here. Storage. And it's got racks so you can, you know, add or shorten these the spacing in these shelves. Cabinets are all really well made. You can see where they're all kind of, I don't want to call it a dovetail, but everything is uh, might joined together really well. Um, little padded headrest. This is the platinum color. If you get a different package, what they're going to do is change this head piece. And then, I forgot what these are called over the windows. Uh, uh, balances. Balances. These these will change colors whatever package you get and the couch will change. I think Platinum's the only one with a microfiber couch, which we like for having the dogs, but they have like a a pleather style, like a brown and a um a blue, I believe. But when you get those colors, it'll change those ends on the balances and this. If I if I'm I don't know, I'm not a salesman for Lance, but if, if I remember correctly that's what it is. Uh, but they all have the same cabinet color, the same top cover, and the same floor color. Everything in the wallpaper and all that. That's okay. Like a vinyl wood look. Yeah, it's a vinyl. It's pretty solid. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's a little too dark for my taste, but I think it should have been picked a little different color. That's one thing we didn't like was how dark that was. But don't really match really well in our opinion. But uh, yeah, oh, good. That's it. A fire that's extinguisher. Right. Fire extinguisher. Yeah, that's that, right. right? And, that's uh, something to trip over on the way in and out. Right. That's about it. Okay. So hopefully we'll do very well good. For a well, long you're good. You're going to enjoy this. Thank you. At least on rainy days now, you'll be able to sit in and watch TV or something. Right. And yeah. Speaking of which, the football game's on. So we'll see you guys later. All right.